What's up guys, Omar Esau here, and in this video today, I want to talk about a topic that actually was brought to my attention by you guys, the rascals. You see, what happened several weeks ago is that Jim Mems, a popular Facebook page, put out a design, a product, that looked strikingly similar to actually this design right here. This isn't even my final form. What I'm going to do is post right here a comparison, right? The original design from six months ago made by my designer, Ross Nunez, and then their design, right? Which they posted several weeks ago. And I'm going to allow you to make an informed decision whether they look similar or not. I know what I happen to think, but what happened, Jim Mems, you know, what they actually do, they reappropriate images, funny fitness images from around the world and they post on their page. They have almost one million or over a million fans. But what happened is they posted that image, this isn't even my final form, for sale, right? So they said, this is now available for sale, you can get it here. Immediately as soon as they did that, they got hundreds of my rascals who actually belong to the page saying, what are you talking about? This is Omar's design. Is this an Omar collab? This is wrong. No credit has been given. An outcry, a public outcry occurred, right? And as soon as that happened, a lot of my fans, my rascals, started tagging me, saying, hey Omar, you better check this out. So I took a look at it, and I said, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what's going on. This appears to me my design. I have the copyright. This is my product, right? What are you guys doing? You didn't give me any credit. My comment was deleted swiftly thereafter, and so was the hundreds of, so were the hundreds of rascals that also left a comment. And so I was a little bit confused, I was banned from the page, I couldn't even give a fair shake of what was going on, give my say in the matter, so I posted on my personal page, I said, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on, but it appears that Jim Mems is using, once again, a, 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 a near replica of my original design and they're trying to sell it, they're trying to profiteer off of an original design of work, right, that worked with, with Ross Nunes. Um, and so I made that post. I put the side-by-side -side photo and immediately people started chiming in saying, you know, this is wrong, this is uh, uh, incorrect, you can't do this. And slowly what happened, Jim Mems uh, appeared because I tagged them and they said, we weren't really sure whose design this was, we found it on the internet. Now I find this incredibly hard to believe, seeing that if you search for this t-shirt design, this isn't in my final form, all the results are from my apparel store or fans wearing the shirt. Not to mention the, you know, a presence that I have on YouTube. I find this almost next to impossible. They did not know who it belonged to. But what ended up happening, I swiftly corrected them, said, hey, it's my design, right? I own it. And they proceeded to try and hide behind essentially international copyright law. You can see the exchange right here uh, to see what happened. And after more and more and more rascals started commenting on it and, you know, more fitness YouTubers, I had uh, Johnny Candido, I had Chris Jones, I had Chelsea Lifts, I had Simon from Mass Aesthetics, I had Elgin, everyone just started chiming in, this is wrong, you know, everyone said the exact same thing. Their reputation was tanking, right, uh, in popular opinion with what was happening. So they backpedaled. They said, hey, we're not assholes, we're not pricks, sorry is exactly what they said. Uh, we're not pricks, we'll remove the design if that's what you want. I wanted it removed, they removed it. Okay, so it seemed like all was well. But, fast forward a couple weeks later and the design, this isn't even my final form, is still on their website. They actually put it back on. So they, you know, they snuck it back in. So what ended up happening now, uh, as far as I understand, Jim Mems is owned by someone, Eddie's at a Turk. I believe it's based in Australia, but interesting enough, another Australian company uh, or, or page, I believe it's a conglomerate, I'm not really sure how it works, their business practices aren't quite transparent, so it's hard to discern what's really going on. Another Instagram account by the name of Simply Aesthetics, I believe, screen cap's going to go up, uh, posted my design once again, my original design. That looks strikingly similar, I should say. You make, once again, your own choice. I know what I happen to think, and all the fans. Uh, they posted it, and I said, you know, I own this design. This is my original design. It's made by Ross Nunez. If you're thinking of selling it, that's wrong. It's illegal, right? And their response essentially said that, whoa, we don't intend to sell it, man. We're just posting this photo, and even if we wanted to sell it, you can't do anything about it because of international copyright. Again, they said the exact same line, which, after seeking legal counsel, I believe their opinion is actually incorrect. 
So what happened, uh, that exchange occurred, and then the next day, they announced another design. They took another one of my designs, reappropriated it, right, an original work. Uh, I will be legendary, I will ascend, and they posted it for sale. So now they're profiteering off of my work and Ross Nunes, who I own the design. And so they posted it. I'm, Literally right after they said, hey, yeah, we're not going to sell it. So this is the second instance, either by the same individual or it's just another company in Australia who said, oh, yeah, we're not going to post it or we'll remove it, and then they post it back. So this bottom line doesn't affect me, my finances, rascal apparel. If anything, I want to shout out Eddie Atta Turk for giving all this attention my way because the positive support has been overwhelming. If anything, more people now are buying from Rascal Apparel. But this speaks of a larger issue, right? When it comes to justice, when it comes to people getting ripped off, what happened or what happens all too often in the design industry, original designs are taken and reappropriated. These small companies are small, unique people. They'll make an awesome design, big company sees it, doesn't give credit at all to the little guy, takes it and sells it and makes all the profit, right? essentially stealing that design. I have a platform. I could speak about this to you guys, right? I have the rascals. You guys stood up for me. But all too often, this injustice occurs, right? Where this person is left high and dry. Someone else makes the money and this individual suffers as a result, right? They're literally stealing money from that person. And this is in the first instance of this happening in the fitness community. This just happens to be a public example. But what's really cool and the difference is you guys. And that's why bringing it back to the YouTube fitness community, you guys make things happen. As I would say, we take care of our own. Where if something wrong occurs, we speak up, right? As a community, because we are a community. And the theme really is unity, right? Us helping each other out. I'll give you tons of examples. All those fitness YouTubers that spoke up for me, right? the collabs that we did. Now I remember two years ago, my first collab was with Brandon Campbell. We had around the same subscribers and we made a cooking video we shared on each other's page and it helped me tremendously. Then I collaborated with Big Play Ray, Health for Thought, I went down to Florida, I went down to Texas, Chris Jones, you know, Matt Ogus, we did videos, a whole lot of videos amongst a wide array of fitness YouTubers. And the theme has always been the same, helping each other out, trying to provide the best information, the most entertaining information. And we've developed together, collectively, this fitness YouTube community that sticks together. So it was amazing to see all this hard effort then paying off when I made you know that post, the public outcry that happened, people shouting out the injustice that occurred, really organic, out of their own volition. It was an amazing feat to say, uh, to say the least, and something I was quite impressed with. So I want to shout out you guys, the rascals in this whole uh, fiasco for sticking up for what's right, for voicing your opinion and letting it be heard. Because I respect and I thank every single one of you that continue to support myself, my channel, Rascal Apparel, the brand, by buying products. I thank you and I want to thank you once again in this video. So that's the summary of the video. The YouTube fitness community sticks together and it is really a sight to behold and it's something that is truly a marvel to now see being several years in it, what it has become, right? So thank you. If you like the video, make sure to like the video and I'll be seeing you as always in that next video. Peace.